Hi, it's Donna from Past and Pages. So I wanted to come back and do another video on these um, grungy craft papers that um, I did a previous video on. Um, it was part two of how to make a grungy envelope junk journal. You can see I used this on the covers and on the inside. And it just gives it a nice grungy layer. So this, I've been working on these today, and this is one that I did um, because I had some questions. Um, one lady asked me about if I had used alcohol inks on them, and I didn't think I had uh, because I've only used alcohol inks on the tape because I usually use the Distress Oxide Spray <clears throat> on these. But they, it turns out fine if you can see it here not sure what you guys are seeing but there that so the alcohol ink did fine here's some here's some here's some and there um and i also started adding um using like a black uh colored pencil it seems to do better than like a regular lead pencil and just doing some scribbles um and here I did just some little spots and some X's and just, you know, to add another element, another layer to it. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do another one. And um, somebody had asked me about the metallic paints too. So I'll do another one um, with, uh, with those. So I just buy this uh, craft paper on a roll at Dollar Tree. Um, I think Walmart has it. And I just like to start with a layer of gesso. Um, first. And you don't need a lot. Just a little. And you don't have to use gesso. You can use white paint. But I just. It's just my first layer. And I'm just trying to get. You know a little bit down. is a little bit grating probably. Sorry about that. Um, now I think I like the scribbles with the cut and the colored pencil markings. I think I like them better as like the last layer. That's what seemed to work best for me. So you just get a layer, you know, here and there of uh, your gesso or your white paint of a, which you want to use. And I'll do the alcohol inks next, I think. Let's try those. Um, I have brown the brown tones but it'd be really pretty I think if you use like some blues let's see if I'm in frame um well you could use any any colors but I I use I usually use browns because it helps it look you know grungy and vintage and stuff but you can definitely use other colors so I just Get, want to give it some spills and some drops and splashes uh, so I just kind of spread it around like that and <clears throat> I'm debating on whether or not I want to use the distress oxide spray I think I I will. I'm almost out, so it's probably not going to give me much. But I do have 
some new bottles, but let's just see if I can get some out. I don't know if I want to try that iced spruce on this or not. So that makes it pretty grungy right there. So I just, for my metallic paints, I just, um, just, um, I just make circles with the tops or add water to give me some splashes. See, I pretty much grunged up all that um, just so. On that, um, the envelope journal I made in the series, I ended up using a lot of gold and copper. Let me see. I need a little bit of water here. And oh my goodness, I didn't bring any of those wipes in here. Or a paper towel. And I like the pewter. I have a pewter color that I'll use. To let me give you an idea of what that looks like. And then I'll pull out the, the gold and the copper and we'll do all of it. This pewter is just a lot darker. So now I'll go with the um, the gold and the copper. And if I had a, a white with me, I would blot this up. But I don't have one. So this is um, antique gold. Try not to dump out too much because I'm going to need to use it all so it don't go to waste. But so you're just wanting colors and textures, and it's fine if it's a mess. layers. That's what you're after. So I'm going to leave the gold at that and do the antique copper.
then it would really be better to wait till the paint dries to do the um, the pencil marking but I think I'll go ahead and just and like I said if I had a big wipe in here I'd wipe up this excess but I forgot when I was grabbing my um, supplies. I want to do um, some splashes with this copper. So you don't have to do this much. I like a lot of texture and layers, but you know, you can do as much or as little as you want to do. Hold on one second and we'll come back with a baby wipe or a paper towel. Okay, so I'm just gonna blot it and get some of the excess up. And this also creates some added texture, just blotting it. So we've got that. Now let me grab a, I'll use this um, smaller black pencil because that way it won't, if it, you know, with the paint, it's not going to mess up a larger one. So you just make scribbles all around. You can use different colors and everything, but since I've got a lot of different paints up here, I think I'll just stick with the black. And, um, and basically that's it, guys. So that one is a very busy one, but I like it. So you can do it as little or as much as you want as far as paint and textures and layers. And just have fun with it but I wanted to show you the metallics and because um, I've had some questions about that so I do add water to the metallics to do the splashes and um, but when I'm using the cap or just smearing it on I don't um, you actually could probably just take some um, gesso and just add some more like that just because it kind of darkened that just so up grunged it up so just to give it some more textures and, and um, tone so it's not all grungy there's some white in there I would do that but anyway I like it and so I will show you a project soon that I've used this paper with and anyway just experiment have fun and i will see you again soon thanks for watching bye bye